It's easy to sit here and rag on Call of Duty Vanguard zombies, but realistically what is behind how poorly this game is perceived, and I would say that, that is everything that is missing from the mode. Now not including something like, I don't know, fun in general, but these are the top things that are missing from Call of Duty Vanguard zombies that is greatly hindering its ability to perform. And the first one we're going to talk about is ammo mods, and the fact that ammo mods are kind of in this game in terms of the Covenant system makes it almost feel like a slap in the face that we can't get them when we go into the Pack-a-Punch machine. The Covenant system in and of itself is used pretty poorly since we can only select three covenants and it becomes increasingly less likely that we're going to get the covenants we want as more are added to the game. In terms of ammo mods, I cannot think of a time where I would rather run one of the three ammo mods, either Deadwire, Brain Rot, or Cryo Freeze. I can't think of a time where I would rather run one of those than something like Dead Accurate or Deadshot or something of that nature. Which basically means that the ammo mods just aren't in the game. I mean, inside of the last couple of Call of Duty games, obviously we had something like fireworks, which I really, really like, by the way. Brain Rot was always a favorite. Deadwire was super fun to use. And I think even Shatter Blast was a really fun one to use inside of Black Ops Cold War. Yet here we are in Vanguard Zombies, and we basically don't have these weapon ammo mods because we don't want to use them out of the Covenant system. The next thing that I think is greatly impacting the way we play the game is the fact that all the radios and the intel in the game can only be found in-game. Obviously that was changed in Cold War where we could access the intel outside of the game, go around and collect the intel, and then read it outside of the actual in-game menu. That way we could kind of keep up to date on the storyline and the finer details that we're missing. I can't think of a time where I just run around and want to click on any of the radios because there's already so much talking in-game between the characters and all the freaking entities in the dark ether and then you add a radio on top of that it just becomes a garbled mess where you can't understand what anyone's saying weapon proficiencies is another big one in my opinion proficiencies kits and ammunition types we talked about this in a lot of videos before but it basically means that our weapons are not suited specifically for zombies obviously in cold war we had something like the flashlight giving us more salvage when we killed a zombie or some of them doing more damage to zombies but now we can see the name of the zombies above their head their name is always zombie but it's there in terms of proficiencies and kits i really 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 want to have surplus inside of vanguard zombies because it would make grinding weapons and camos inside of vanguard zombies so so much easier as well as some quicker reload times there's anything else that you can get in the weapon kits and proficiencies this would greatly impact the way that we choose our weapons and we use them in game because it would add a whole nother layer to what we already have now you really don't need me to tell you about this one but the pause feature is one of the biggest things missing from call of duty vanguard zombies it has been an absolute terror trying to play this game and not having to pee in the middle of it i don't have that kind of bladder control and honestly the pause feature missing is one of the biggest things that is hindering this game and the high round community especially from continuing to play vanguard zombies in the near future. Allegedly, the pause feature is getting added soon. We don't need to dive any further into that. Moving on. Now, our second to last thing is the round-based maps. Obviously, inside of Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies, we do not have a traditional round-based map. We have two void objectives, one on Shinarnuma and one on the Dark Ether. The idea of it is basically the same as a round-based map, but obviously nowhere near what it's supposed to be. Instead, we have all of these objective hubs that we need to run around and go do, and it gets really repetitive after, I don't know, three or four rounds, and it really leaves you with no desire to keep playing. And especially on Terra Maldicta, you have to basically go through the entire Easter egg to open up the void objective, just so you can play what is basically a round-based map, but really it's not. Gone are the days of Durizendrak, Mob of the Dead, Origins, all those kinds of maps that we have seen in the past, and instead we have these weird reused multiplayer maps that are being added into the game and used as a hub where we can go through these special little areas, do these fun little objectives only to open another area. And I think the thing that this game is lacking the most is replayability. I have no desire after playing Terra Maldicta once to really go back in and play it. And this leads from a couple of problems. One, the Dark Aether camo is just butt cheeks. Nobody wants to unlock that thing because it doesn't look good. Nobody wants to use it inside of their game. So nobody's going in and unlocking it. And that was one of the biggest things that drove us to continue playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold war zombies was to unlock dark ether camo the next is that all the upgrades are done in game for your perks and your tome of rituals and everything like that whereas in cold war zombies we had these different crystals that we could get from playing games we would get rewarded every time we play the game and would almost incentivize you to go back in and try to get to another high round to get a bunch more crystals sure it felt a little grindy at times but it definitely added some replayability to the mode especially when you can use different things like well different ammo types and so on and so forth now because the camo sucks and there's really no way to upgrade anything outside of your game what reason do we have
have to go in and play after we played once. You go in and play Daron Fong, you go and play Terra Maldicta one time, you go through all the objectives, you're like, okay, I got it. I don't really need to play it again. There's no incentive for me to play again. Again, Vanguard Zombies in and of itself is super duper flawed. Let me know if I forgot anything in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a great Easter day and I'll see you soon. Big shout out to all the channel members over on the channel and an extra special shout out to all of the Zombie Richthoff members starting off with the M60 wielding maniac, Deathwish, my guy, Ben the Bulldozer, and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiz Brandon, ZR.